Hey guys, Nuka here. I'm doing a follow up to the video I made on how to reuse plastic bottles. This time I have, uh, as you can see there, two 2 liter Sprite bottles with water fully frozen. And I have this one 46 ounce bottle of a V8 Fusion, or used to be, fully frozen. And what we're going to do with these three bottles here is I'm going to show you a way that you can create your own temporary off grid freezer. It's also going to be mobile, which is another cool aspect of it. All you need is just a couple of bottles. Pretty much uh, two liters do actually work pretty well. Uh, frozen water, completely solid. And then you go to want a food grade bucket. Of course, that food grade bucket also needs to have a lid. And uh, you're probably wondering, you know, why should we use food grade bucket? The reason is, is I actually plan on putting food there. So I figured why not actually have the food grade bucket. In all reality, they only cost about three to four dollars, so you're really not spending too much to get the better product. So the idea is pretty simple. We're just gonna take these frozen bottles, we're gonna place them inside the bucket. Something like that. And of course, you could always manipulate it however you need to. You know, depending on what you're storing in there and you probably don't even have to use three you could probably use two whatever you want but I want to see how long this is actually going to last and the difference of it being inside of a container with a closed lid as opposed to it just you know like I showed you before just sitting in the sink on the counter at room temperature so the little tests I'm going to use here are some uh, little steam work green beans I'm just going to place this Inside the bucket comes like a test. We'll just take a look at it. You can notice right now they're uh, pretty frozen. These also came out the freezer. And the other test we're going to use finally is we're going to actually use a time which has already been running. Yeah, right now it's at, you can tell six minutes all the way. And I expect this to last a very good amount of time. Probably at least over somewhere around 15 hours is what I'm thinking. But we're going to test it, we're going to find out to see how long it actually lasts. So off the video, we'll go ahead and put the lid on it. I'm going to hammer that down with the rubber mallet, and I'll be using the uh, pail opener to open it every so often so we can check the time rate and see how things are going to work out. So we will be back. Alright, so we are at 11 hours and 12 minutes. And as you can tell, hopefully you can see this, there is condensation on the side of the food grade bucket. You should be able to kind of see that little moisture there. So let's take a little quick look. And I've already propped the lid up. And let's just see, okay. So here we can visually tell that the uh, Sprite one of the two liter bottles, actually both of them, has melted pretty well, but there's still a good solid chunk of ice in there. And as for the V8, I think this one may be completely liquid. Nope, I can still feel a good amount of solid ice in this one as well. So we still effect and wow look at that it still has little ice crystals inside so it must be cold enough to do this job somehow so I'm just going to place it directly back in there and uh, we'll seal this back up and of course we'll check back again later So here we are at hour 18 with about 22 minutes. I'm gonna take a look here. You can tell the condensation has got higher. It's about towards the top of the bucket. And let's just pull this off and take a look. As you can tell, the Sprite still has 
frozen ice inside of it. You can see that. It's actually still pretty cold. Our second Sprite bottle, yep, still has frozen ice inside. Try to smash the green beans here. And even the VA, I can still feel. I don't know if you can really hear it, but I can still feel the ice inside as well. Let's take a look at our green beans. Green beans are still pretty chill. They are still cold. Wouldn't necessarily consider them frozen per se, but they're definitely cold enough to keep from spoiling. So, we'll stick these back in. And of course, we're gonna come back. And we will check on this again. All right, so here we are at hour 29. Nine minutes. Let's go ahead and see what we have in the store now. It's been almost 30 hours. And here we can already visually see there is ice still inside of the Sprite bottle. It is, of course, mostly liquid, you can tell there, so it's really just a little island of ice floating around. Looks like the same with the other bottle as well. Yep, nice little island there. And in the V8, there is still a nice little island of ice inside of it. And the green beans are still cold. They are still cold to the touch. Still cool. And looking around, we can still see the condensation on the outside is still visible. So I want to keep going until uh, these ice little islands here keep completely melting. So we'll come back again and we'll see where we're at the next time. So far, so good. Here we are now at pretty much 31 and a half hours. take a look inside again and this time as you can tell there is a definite little piece of ice left of the sprite bottle everything is still very cool to the touch inside including green beans they're still cold it feels as if they're kind of losing their chillness from last time but they are still chilled so I believe we can call this an index. Let's look at a little perspiration there. We'll call this index here. So I would say if you have two liter bottles full of ice, another 46 liter bottle full of completely ice, uh, if that is enough space for you, this this setup here with a food grade bucket, a lid, a mallet, and the uh, power remover. This setup here should last you 30 hours. If you think about that, if power has been destroyed, or you temporarily don't have power, 30 hours of longevity is pretty good. Now let's also take into the fact that we pulled this straight out of the freezer. If, you, if stuff hits the fan to where a power outage happens at your house, you should try to leave that stuff in the freezer as much as you can before you feel like it's going to get warmer in there, and then remove that stuff and put it in this bucket, and you should have well over the 30 hours you need. Even at 31 and a half hours, the contents inside the bucket are still pretty cold. And uh, the reason why I like this design here is this is mobile. So if you and your family have to get up and maybe go to a hotel somewhere, you don't want to throw all that food away, whatever the case may be, a couple of frozen bottles, uh, water bottles, for two liters, uh, preferably. It's out of a uh, food grade bucket, five gallon food grade bucket, completely closed. Will have your food cold at least 30 hours. Is what I'm noticing. And of course, all that can change depending on the temperature from the outside and the, uh, well, that's pretty much it. Pretty much temperature from the outside if there's direct sun exposure or not. So, hopefully, this video is informational to you. Hope you guys got something out of this video. And uh, I highly, once again, recommend don't just throw your plastics away. Try to find a way you can reuse it. 
better for the environment and also you're kind of you know prepping to the max in the fact that you're not just throwing things away you find alternate uses for it so of course once again guys just rate comment subscribe as always i'll see you soon later